Well, I came upon an interesting discovery. When you get a new grill, uh, let's say an aftermarket grill, most of the times in the U.S. at least, um, this part, this front face, will be painted black. And I wanted to paint it silver, so uh, as you can see, I went and sprayed silver. I masked it off and everything and sprayed silver chrome paint on it. However, there is already chrome paint, just like this bezel piece, already behind here. And then they go and they put black paint on top of that part, on top of that part. So what I've been doing to get that off is just using carbon choke cleaner. That works awesome, huh? It, it'll take the paint off, but it doesn't take off the chrome finish. So whatever this chrome finish is is harder um, than whatever this paint is that I applied on it, plus the black paint that comes from the factory. So that's a really neat little tip. That's neat. If you want a silver one, just use brake cleaner. You might be able to get away with something that's a little bit better as a like paint thinner. I'm just using this because this is all I have. I mean, I just moved into the house and I don't have all my stuff and I might have to go out and buy something specific to do that, but that works. And I have to give Andy credit for this. He actually told me to go get some brake fluid and I thought he said brake cleaner, so I started using this. But that's Andy's, I guess, inspiration. Good job, Andy. Well, I finished cleaning up the grill today. Went out and got some more carb cleaner. Carbon throttle body cleaner. This is a cheap can. This was $3.99 from local auto parts store. Basically the same exact stuff as that. And once it took all the black paint off, these three were all painted black, as you probably all know if you have a 66 or MX-6 or probe or protege. Obviously the probe is going to have a Ford badge there, but anyway. So what I did was started with the throttle body cleaner, cleaned all that off. I showed some of the, the process of doing that, I think, and it came out really well. But what really did, as you can probably tell, this is uh, old nasty brake fluid from a brake job. And I got some of that and wiped the excess paint off. But then I, I started thinking, well, after I get all the paint off and there's some residue on here, why don't I just go ahead and use some rubbing compound? And sure enough, uh, that's exactly what rubbing compound is for. Actually, that says polishing compound, but, you know, same crap, kind of. <laughs> polishing compound is pretty much the same thing as rubbing compound. Uh, it's just meant for real light scratches. Uh, so to take residue off worked great. Here's a light so you can see how shiny that, that middle grill area is that was under the black paint. It is, uh, it's pretty shiny there. And there's some couple areas in there that I can't really get to. Um, not too worried about that because the overall appearance of it, uh, I'm pretty happy. To, I'm, I'm really happy with. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. And if you've seen pictures or videos of my grill on my car previously, you'll see that these three areas, instead of being plain, painted black, they were painted silver because I tried finding a chrome paint. You know, something like this, the metallic kind of paint. Well, that didn't really work. It ends up just drying up as silver. Not really silver, just gray. Let's just say flat gray paint. It, that, it did not work for crap. It was just by accident that I sprayed some throttle body cleaner on there and the black came off and you could start seeing the silver behind the black. And I was like, so of course I just started spraying it off and voila, you know, this is, this is the actual look that I was going for with this silver paint. So instead of adding silver paint, all I had to do was remove the black really easy and uh, really good looking. This is the look that I wanted. And the alternative to this would be to find a shop that can put the spray chrome on, you know, the actual good stuff that, that comes out like this from the factory, you know, this kind of stuff. And that's fairly expensive and you have to send your grill off, you know, ship it out to have them do that near without a grill. And this would look perfect if it wasn't for all this pitting. This is all sun pitting because I'm in Florida the sun just chews right through the black and the silver. All that kind of stuff. That's all pitting from the sun. It's oxidation that just chews right through the paint. Um, might be bug splatter, you know, combined in there. Some acid from bug stomachs and things just kind of contribute to pit the, the paint. I think it all turned out fairly well. So they spray this stuff. They spray this piece really well with that chrome stuff. I have no idea what Mazda uses, but I mean, it's, it is really nice. It's really shiny. Ah, say hello, you can see my reflection in it. Good job.
So that's what rubbing compound does, is it will bring up the shine, bring, bring back the shine. I don't think that they put a clear coat over this, but I don't expect this to last very long as is without a clear coat. I'm not going to put a clear coat over it because a lot of clear coats tend to yellow over time and I really, I'm just gonna avoid that. So from this pitting here, if I had a brand new grill, and you can find these grills online, OEM, from eBay or especially Rock Auto still has these brand new, you're not gonna get all this oxidation on the pitting. All you would have to do is spray off the, the grill with uh, the throttle body cleaner, get all that crap off, and then uh, go at it with the, the polishing compound. It'll take you a while because you have to get into all these little nooks and crannies, and I'm not going for perfection here. You would probably need to use a Q-tip in here. I'm just going for, I mean, this is way better than what my grill looked like, so I am supremely happy with the results here. So that's just a, a quick tip. If you have a 626 and you want a chrome grill, just spray off the black with throttle body cleaner, and then go at it with rubbing compound. It's pretty easy. And no, I don't have my badge here. Um, this is actually from an accident. Uh, or let's say, gosh, I think I got into the accident in 2003. This grill was brand new in 2003. Here we are, what, 10 years later. It's held up fairly good for being a 10 year old part. After the accident, they gave me the badge in a little box. Um, and they asked me if I wanted them to install it or if I wanted to install it myself, which I'd never heard of. I mean, generally you would think that they would go ahead and install it, but they didn't. And, I, and I'm glad that I didn't have them do it because now these three prong holes are here and I can make my own. What I plan on doing is cutting out an oval. And then if you're familiar with my light disc project where I can replicate my own parts, I'm going to make my own custom badge right on the front of there. At least that's the plan for now. My point being, that when they install that badge, they will use adhesive on the prongs and you will not be able to get that off unless you drill it through from the back and you have to drill out these holes. So I have a badgeless grill that I can now do something a little bit custom with and I'm pretty happy about that too. So this has all really worked out in my favor and I'm pretty, pretty happy. I'm also really happy that I have my own workbench and my own garage and got my neat little desk lamp and you know, got, got some stuff about me now. That's basically all there is to the grill for now. And um, come back in a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like installed. Oh, there it is on the car. It doesn't quite fit right. I'm gonna have to work on the fitment, but it looks pretty good. Pretty happy with the results. It's all chrome. Look at that, you can see my shadow in there. Sweet Georgia Brown. Now, I don't know if the color matched ones, um, that is, uh, this outer bezel here is painted the same color as your car. I don't know if the chrome comes behind it. Just look behind it, and if you see any chrome or black overspray from this middle section, chances are you do have chrome back there. Actually, it's not really chrome. It's plastic-coated aluminum spray or some type of metallic spray. But it holds up really well, and you can't take it off with just throttle body cleaner, so that's good. Looks pretty good. Cool.